The new GTA Online weekly update is almost here, and today on the show we have all of the news and information in regards to all of our new money bonuses, big discounts, free vehicles, we even have some extra free rewards themed to Oktoberfest for this week, and more challenges for players to participate in for this next week here in GTA. There's a lot to go over today, we're going to be diving into it all, and this video will serve as your comprehensive sneak peek at the next weekly event that goes live in just about 12 hours or so, and so you have a little bit of extra time to prepare for it here. So with all that said, let's get started. If you enjoy this video at any point, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on it, and if you want to stay up to date with everything GTA Online and Rockstar Games, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. All right, first let's talk about our free rewards for this week. We have a bunch of login gifts for Oktoberfest. No effort is required on your part besides just logging into the game. We have the Pisswasser Good Time t-shirt, the gold Pisswasser shorts, the Alpine outfit that you can unlock. We have the Pisswasser Race Red as well as the Pisswasser Race White limited time liveries for the Ubermox Cypher. And then we also have the Race Geometry as well as Pisswasser Race limited time liveries for the Ubermox Sentinel Classic Wide Body as well. So you get some car liveries as well as some cosmetic clothing here this week in GTA. When it comes to this week's weekly challenge, if you want to make that $100,000, all you need to do is secure a total of six bounty targets of any kind, and you will get that 100 grand. So a very, very fast and easy challenge here. It will take you two hours tops to do right there, because you can do three free roam bounties every single hour, along with one of the most wanted targets every single day. Now we'll get into our bonuses here. We have actual bonuses on the bail office for this week. So we do have double money and double RP on the standard bounty targets, as well as those red most wanted bounty targets targets. In addition to that, we have double money and double RP on the Hunting Pack Remix Adversary Mode, and then we also have triple money and triple RP on all Associate as well as Bodyguard salaries if, you know, you're playing as part of an organization this week. So, realistically, the only real good business bonus is on the bounty targets at your bail office. Obviously, the most wanted targets pay between $120,000 to $130,000, call it on average one twenty-five dollars with double money this week. That will be $250,000 on average per most wanted target this week. And then the usual bounty targets pay between 30 and 40,000. Now they'll be paying between 60 and 80,000, which also isn't too bad of a deal right there. But let's talk about our discounts because we have some great opportunities to pick up some discounted vehicles here in this game. So jumping in, we do have 40% off the Anis RE7B. We have 40% off the Pegasi Osiris, 40% off the Buckingham Weaponized Kanata. 40% off the Buckingham Kanata, so just the weaponized version as well as the non-weaponized version. We have 40% off the Savage. It's been a while since we've seen that on discount, actually. That's 100% worth picking up this week. We have 40% off the Brute RCV, 30% off the Ocelot Swinger, 30% off the Pegasi Reaper, another vehicle I would recommend picking up along with the Savage, the RE7B, and the Osiris. We have 30% off the Western Company Besra, as well as 30% off the Western Company Seabreeze. And then let's talk about our three Salvadoroid robberies for this week. Unfortunately, it does not appear that any of these are claimable, but nonetheless, they will be available all the way through Wednesday, September the 25th. So we do have this week's top range vehicle. It is the Benefactor SM722, featured in the Duggan robbery where you could steal it. We have the Obey Tailgater S, which is going to be this week's mid-range vehicle, featured in the Podium robbery. And then this week's standard range vehicle is the Dinka Sugoi, and you could steal it because it's featured in the Gang Banger robbery. Now jumping into our two free vehicles for this week, let's check out the Diamond Casino and Resort Podium vehicle first. It is the True Fadi Nero, an excellent vehicle you absolutely need to try and spin the wheel to unlock this week. And then at the LS Carmi, your LS Carmi prize arrived this week, is the Obey iWagon. And if you'd like to unlock this vehicle, you can earn it by winning the LS Carmi series races for three days in a row. You just need to win one per day for three days in a row, and you will have the Obey iWagon. Once again, you know, on Thursdays, I do my weekly update guide where we go over the weekly challenge and how you can complete it with some fun live gameplay, showcase the removed vehicles, which we're going to get into. Friday, I have my GTA money guide for the weekly update, and then, of course, on Saturday, I do my free vehicles guide. So if you want a full and comprehensive review on the Trufati Nero podium vehicle, as well as the prize ride, that will be out this Saturday. But now let's jump into the LS Carmi test drive vehicles, because on PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, your premium test ride vehicle is the newer Anis Urus X. 32 and then your three standard range vehicles which also are removed from the game we have the anis re7b we have the grati stinger gt as well as the bravado buffalo s which really isn't that big of a deal right there simeon's premium deluxe motorsport his dealership also has some excellent vehicles you absolutely need to pick up so we do have the ocelot swinger which is one of the discounted ones same with the re7b back at the ls car meet but we also have the lampadati viserys which is an amazing vehicle have to pick it up 
Shyster Deviant, I've gotten some comments from players when I've been driving that in my gameplays, and so that's one of the vehicles I was using. That's going to be on offer for this week, so if you're one of those people, definitely get ready. That's 100% worth picking up. We have the Dubachi Masacro, as well as the LCC Avarice Bike. And then at Luxury Autos, kind of continuing this theme here, Rockstar switching it up with some different vehicles. We have the Declassy Yosemite 1500 as part of this bottom dollar bounties update, which isn't that big of a deal. But the Vapid Dominator GT is also featured here as well. That released with the Chop Shop, I believe. And then let's talk about the gun van discounts this week. We do have 40% off the machine pistol as well as 40% off the assault rifle. But the assault rifle is only 40% off for GTA Plus members. It's going to be available from the gun van this week, so anyone can buy it. But the discount of 40% only applies to GTA Plus members. And then when it comes to this week's HSW time trial, it is terminal to Chiliad Mountain State Wilderness. Your normal time trial for this week is end to end. And this week's premium race for all players is eight figure bonus. Now, real quick, that is basically everything that's coming this week here in GTA Online. It is a bail office focus week. Unfortunately, the bail agents aren't giving double money as well. We had that bonus like a couple weeks ago, maybe a month, a month and a half ago. Now the actual bail office bounties are gonna be double money. But one of the things that I didn't get to cover yesterday, just because I already had two videos posted and YouTube wouldn't send out any more notifications if I kept posting, the video would just bomb. So I figured I'd make it later more of a discussion for Format. But of course, we received some new GTA updates yesterday. Obviously, there's news of Expanded and Enhanced finally coming to PC, which is excellent news. There's some GTA 6 strings that were found, and then Red Dead Redemption 1 further confirmed on PC. We've been waiting on that since we got our first leaks on that since May. But one of the other things is an anti-cheat added to the PC platform for GTA 5 and GTA Online. That's pretty incredible. There is a lot of drawbacks to Battleye being added. One of them is that it's just not that effective. Some players would argue that something is better than nothing. And unfortunately, I would argue in this case that it isn't really something. It's actually kind of nothing, but I will explain that later on this week. So definitely stick around for that video as well. Usually I like to be very positive about Rockstar taking anti-cheat measures in their game. When we've gotten actual Rockstar anti-cheat updates, I've been very positive, you know, kind of hoping they've been doing more with it. They look into manual reports sooner. They'd actually issue manual bans for very obvious blatant cheaters and modders and things like that in online. But when it comes to this, it seems like they're just delegating it to automatic battle eye processes here. It's not gonna do much when it comes to paid cheat menus that have already bypassed the anti-cheat, they've already worked around it, things like that. The only difference between Battleye and then Rockstar's proprietary anti-cheat, the little one they have is that Battleye just gives you hardware ID bans, but of course, if you're spoofing that, when the menu, as well as the spoofer, if it's detected, you wouldn't be getting hardware ID banned because your hardware IDs are spoofed. So, nonetheless, just wanted to bring that up, but we're gonna discuss that later on this week and just figured I'd get you guys up to speed. You guys probably heard about it yesterday from your favorite content creators, but nonetheless, that is some decent news but it's not the end all be all. There's still gonna be horrible cheating problem in GTA Online. We're never gonna get ahead of that, but it is what it is. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap it up right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think about this weekly update here in GTA Online. Hopefully you enjoyed the video here today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it. And of course, if you are new to my channel and you wanna stay up to date with the best GTA Online and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. Also check me out over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. Those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube. You're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. Again, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you all have a fantastic day. Enjoy this weekly update. I'll see you guys tomorrow morning with the guide and adios amigos.